School supplies shopping is one of my favorite things to do before a new school year, and I know you guys are like, didn't you just graduate college? The thing is, post-graduation life is so stressful. Before, I used to be able to fall back on my occupation being a student, and I'm just trying to get through school. Here's my major. I'm gonna figure out what's next. But now it's like, okay, what is next? And I think something that always helped me during school was having deadlines and having to stay on track. But now, all of that scheduling and what my week is gonna look like is up to me. So I think something that's gonna help me is getting school supplies like a calendar and a planner and organizing my time so that I stay productive. I also want to talk about how I got straight A's in college and how I romanticize school. So I'm at Target. This is my favorite place to get school supplies. Also, I just put on these press-ons. Hopefully they last through the video. They are so short. I'm getting my acrylics on next week. So I'm excited. We'll see what we can find. So let's do it. get the loudest I always need a new pens. I think these are the best and they last a long time. But also these and I feel like my writing looks nice with them. Look how fancy these are. You can get every color. I love this one. I think I'm just gonna go with these. They're plain black. They write really nice and they last a while. And also this pack. They're a good price and they also write really nice. These look really nice. I wonder if these would be good for drawing. Look at this, this is what I want my notes to look like. The colors are super cute. And these, oh my god, I used to have those and I thought it was the coolest thing that they had an eraser at the bottom. I don't know if they actually worked super well, but. I still have a lot of plain highlighters, so I think I'm good on those. These have always been my favorite mechanical pencils, the ones everyone has. I hate losing them though. Last year I got this pack and I still use them because I really like them. They're really similar to these, but they're cuter. I still have them, they last me a while, so I would recommend those. But also look how fancy this pack is. Look at that. This is the best eraser, by the way. This is like a mini one. These are also really good though, and they're a good price. I used to have a huge pack of them that I could lose or give to someone. So having like a huge pack where it doesn't matter if I lose them. I think I'm gonna get a new pair of scissors. For some reason, I always lose them. This pair looks really nice. I like the color too. I always get like the big size because I had like this size and they're just not as comfortable. Actually, I have these in this color and I really like them. Or I could get the double pack. I'm just gonna go with this one. I like the blue. And I don't need any glue, but I do need tape. These are actually really cute. I love the prints. And these notebooks were my go-to. I think the size of them is just so nice. I love this brown one. I got these pretty much every year. These would be really nice for meal prep. I've been trying to do that more recently, like when I'm in the mood to cook. Also, I already lost a nail. This one's a cute color. Or there's like stackable Tupperware. This one's really nice, but I don't know if I wanna do it. Wait, these are cute. I love all the colors. They all just look so nice. Like, look at these highlighters. I think these calendars are the best because you can see your full week and then just rip out the pages as you go. Ooh, wait, look at this one. I kind of like this one. Or this one too is cute. I like the green. This is what I have so far. I feel like we're off to a good start. All of this stuff is so cute. I feel like when I get cute supplies, I'm gonna want to use them and like be productive. I don't think I'm gonna get any notebooks like this. Recently, I got an iPad, so I've been taking notes and writing my plan for the day on there. And I use the Notability app, which is really nice. It's just way easier to use than working on paper. So I think I'm gonna use that for like schedules and stuff. And I have the Apple Pencil too, which is amazing. So I think I'm gonna skip the notebooks. Look at this set. Look at this big Sharpie pack and it's $9.99. Weren't Sharpies like way more expensive before? Like I never got a pack like that because they were always like $20. I love post-it notes. They're just so easy to be able to write on really quick and then stick it to something so you don't forget what you need to do. Also look at these. These are so cute. 
but like what would I write on something that small? Like I need to actually write out a thought. These are nice too for like markers for marking your page, but also the plain squares. These are cute mini squares. I think I'm gonna go with these because they're squares, but they also have lines. So I feel like that's more of what I want. These though too look really nice. Like usually, I'll just write something really quick so I won't forget and then I'll stick it on my fridge or somewhere that I'm gonna see it. Cause I feel like if I don't write it down, I'm probably gonna forget about it. I was just making a thumbnail for like two minutes. So awkward and it wasn't even recording. I can't. I can't do this. Okay, I found these. Super cute. I love the colors. I kind of want to get these and the lined ones just because then I can color code like my notes. I feel like that's a way I can be more organized. Like I can use one for like grocery lists and then like stuff to do, errands, and then like video planning and stuff. These are the best erasers. I use them for art too, so I still have a bunch. And I also usually use mechanical pencils, but I get the pencil sharpener for my drawing pencils that I have. So I still have one, I think I have this one. And then I think I'm gonna get a pencil bag just for traveling with my art supplies. This one looks really cute and plain, so I think I'll do that. But also these are nice. Like this could be super easy, because I'm probably just gonna bring pencils and pens and like erasers. Oh, but it's $13 and this one's three, so I think I'm gonna get the three dollar. I just always want to have like a designated bag for my art supplies when I travel. This one could even probably fit like my watercolor palette, so this would be perfect. Today's video is sponsored by Casetify. I get so many questions on where I get my phone cases from because they are super cute and also really protective, which I need because I always drop my phone or bump it on stuff, and I never have to worry about my phone getting damaged because these cases are so protective. They sent me three phone cases and accessories to show you guys, and my my favorite color is purple, so I thought getting three purple cases was so fitting. This one is definitely my favorite and it matches my phone wallpaper. It reminds me of like an aura. I'm always changing out my phone cases for the season or to match my outfit. These are also really cute. This one is customized with my name and then this one is just plain, which will probably be my most used case. I honestly love simple cases like this and I've always loved having a phone strap on my case also, especially when I'm taking mirror pictures. When I'm looking for a phone case, I'm first looking at the patterns and colors and how cute everything is, but I'm also always considering like, is this gonna protect my phone? Because I drop it all the time. Casetify cases do a great job in protecting your phone, which I feel like is the number one. Like when I look for a phone case, I want it to actually work. And I never have to worry about damage when they're in these cases. They have protection on like every edge of the case. So when they drop, they like bounce off the floor and my phone never has a scratch. So I love that. Casetify works with artists for their designs. My favorite is Izzy Lawrence Studio. You guys can get 15% off Casetify with the link in the description. So definitely check it out and treat yourself to a new phone case. And thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. These notebook patterns are really cute too though. I love the green one. Oh, I remember in middle school decorating my locker with all this stuff. I had a mirror and one of these little cups. No, I had this one actually, which had a mirror. Throwback. These planners also look really nice. I don't really like any of these designs. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Actually, I kind of like that one. But again, I think I'm just gonna do this on my iPad and I have a planner still left that'll last me through 2023. If I want to get a new one, I probably will in 2024 and like start the year fresh with a new planner. Notability also has templates that you can use that other people have made. So they have like calendar layouts or notes, tons of things that you can scroll through and then just edit right on them. Oh perfect, this is the tape that I needed. I always like getting the double-sided, which is here. I just run out of tape so fast and I always get these that have like the plastic things so you can just buy the rolls, but then I always end up just buying the whole thing again. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just get the double-sided because I like it so much better. Wait, but this mini stapler is really cute too. I love the yellow. I don't need this, but... <gasps> Wait, but the pink, stop. This is so cute with the matching. It would be so cute if they had pink staples too. Oh, I love that. I don't need a stapler, but it would look so cute on my desk. Okay, the last thing I've been debating on getting is a whiteboard that I can hang in my kitchen. Like, especially one of these calendar ones. Oh, the clear one is cute. 
That would be so nice to organize my week and just erase it out once it's done. Also, look at all the whiteboard markers I could get too with the colors. I've been thinking about this for a while, so I might get this one. This is really nice. I like the clear because it could go in any room. But also this one with like the cork board. Ugh. So cute. I never get binders because I feel like they were always too bulky in my bag. But I really like these. Like if I was to get one, both of those colors are really nice and they would match everything. And they're a good size. Like I think these are one inch. I used to have one of these huge ones in middle school and it's huge. I mean, even these like two inch ones. Like they barely fit in my backpack. These are my favorite colored pencils. Prismacolor is always the best. I have this pack, which is really nice. But this pack, oh my gosh, this is the dream pack. And I don't need any new sketchbooks. I actually just got a new one from Michaels. That's usually where I get my art stuff. So I'll be good on those for now. I have like a thing for bees. I don't know what, but I have like a bunch of bee stuff. So these are actually really cute. All these covers are nice though. I love the mermaid one. That is so nice. And I also only do college ruled notebooks. I've had a graph notebook though, and that one was good too. Or the one with the dots. Okay, I'm pretty much fully stocked. I think I'm good. I'm gonna get some groceries while I'm here too. It is 100 degrees today. It's so hot, but I love summer, so I'm enjoying it. Also, my mascara loves to run under my eyes. I was in Target for two hours, and I think I found everything I need, so I'm actually so excited. I only lost one nail, but I put it in my purse, so I'm gonna glue it back on. Got a bunch of groceries while I was there too. I think I'm gonna do a bunch of meal prepping today because I'm usually not in the mood to cook, but I kind of am today, so I might as well get everything ready for the next couple days. I also just spent the last, like, 20 minutes posting on my story and my TikTok. I had a bunch of sponsored posts I needed to get up, so I just finished doing that. It took me like a minute. Finally, that's all done. So I'm gonna head back to my apartment. 